With normalization, what we're trying to do is give us a level playing field across departments. Here's the thing. In an organization, on any given period, let's say it's a quarter, there are going to be a disparity between what the different teams have to do, not because they're working any harder or not, but just the mix of objectives that they're working on and their priority for that quarter. So if we were to allocate points on the work that they could get done if they achieved all their objectives, it's possible that one team will only earn 600 points and the other one some other number, let's say 789. And again, it's not that they necessarily have a significant difference in resources or objectives or overall expectations, but for that particular period, based on the mix of work they're doing, there's less points at play. Now, technically that's correct, but in the bigger picture, if these two teams are roughly the same size with roughly the same expectations over the course of a year as opposed to a quarter, it's unfair to be looking at them based on these two different sets of points. So all we do is we normalize them up to a thousand points. So we'll net each of those teams so that they start off the game with the availability of earning a thousand points. Now I keep referring to game. For most organizations a game is a quarter. So each month we have a, a period Think of it as a period inside the game where we're going to pause and reflect and, and adjust things. The game itself is a quarter, which means at the end of the game, the series isn't over, but the game is and you're going to rethink strategy in a more grandiose way. Both teams have a thousand points to play with during the period of that quarter. And over that period, things will happen that will adjust the points that they could really achieve and what points they're actually able to achieve. But at least this way, to begin with, I can compare both teams or as many teams as we want against each other. Next, we'll talk about how it is we actually report the forecast in actual performance.